Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make this awesome looking ferris wheel. And not only will I show you how to make the ferris wheel itself, but I'll also show you how to make this tiny little control station for the ferris wheel. Plus I'll show you how to make the surrounding area that I have placed my wheel. And where might you want to put this monstrosity? You're probably wondering to yourself, well, maybe you'd like to add it to a public park that you've been working on? Maybe you'd even like to add it to the back garden? of a nice big suburban house that you've made to show that you're really balling. Or maybe, like me, you're just starting to build your very own theme park and you want your ferris wheel to be the very first build. Well, any one of these is perfectly valid, or maybe you just want to build it in the middle of your city and leave it there for fun. That's completely up to you. If you enjoyed this build, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a like and maybe suggest more things that I could add to my upcoming theme park. But without any further ado, why don't I actually show you how to make this thing? So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some block of quartz, some quartz stair, some quartz slab, some red hardened clay, some yellow hardened clay, some stone slab, some block of iron, some block of redstone, and some redstone lamps. Plus, we'll need every single other one of those materials that you can see in the inventory right now. You might want to pause this, take note of what you see there, grab everything, and then you can come back. Oh, also, we've probably forgot stuff that you can see in the inventory. We'll probably need even more things because, well, I'm kind of forgetful. Well, once you have everything that you can see right there, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I am going to make it. I think a decent place to make it is about here. I think I'm going to make it right about here and I'll work my park around it. Well, I'm going to kick this off with this sequence of blocks coming up from the ground. I want to do one block of quartz. Then two yellow hardened clay, one, two. Then I'm going to do an upright diagonal, place one on top, and I'm going to repeat this process, this very same process that I've just done, upright diagonal, one on top. I'm going to repeat this four more times. So that's going to be an upright diagonal, one on top, that's one. Upright diagonal, one on top, that's two. Upright diagonal, one on top, that's three. Upright diagonal, one on top, that is four. And there we go. That's exactly what we want to have. We want to have, in total, six of those two little yellow blocks stuck together. We then want to take this last block we placed and we want to do an upright diagonal from it. We then want to go right of that block by one the block of iron. Go on top of it by um, one with the uh, one with the redstone lamp. Then one the block of iron. Then go left and right of that lamp with your block of iron. You want to end up with something that should look like this. Also, place a yellow hardened clay inside of each one of the four corners of the shape that you've just made. What you also want to do is you want to take out your yellow hardened clay and from this bottom right hand corner yellow hardened clay that you've made, you want to do the same pattern that you have here on the left. You want to do a bottom right diagonal, place one below. Bottom right diagonal, place one below. Bottom right diagonal, place one blow, so on and so forth until you almost touch the floor because you want to be one block away from the floor like this and then you want to connect that down to the ground. So you just want to make, essentially, it's kind of like a triangular shape like this. What we now want to do is we want to come behind what we've just made. We want to place a block of redstone behind the lamp we want to place block of iron all the way around the redstone. We then want to place another lamp in front of that redstone. We then want to place another layer of block of iron. And then what we want to do, this is kind of interesting, we want to take what we have directly in front of us and we want to apply it to this layer of the ferris wheel. So we want to add all of the yellow stained clay in the corners. And then we want to have the legs that the ferris wheel sits on. We want to have these legs on the back. And the way that we do this is the exact same way that we did them on the front. We want to have the diagonals with blocks underneath them reaching all the way down to the ground. And then we will have to connect them with a block of some sort like this that's the left hand side and then we are going to do the right hand side and remember it's so easy as a matter of fact it's even easier knowing the fact that not only have we done it three times already by this point but you can just look directly forward not two blocks away and you can do the exact same thing that you have already done and we want to end up with something that should look like this which looks a little bit weird at the moment and look 
looking at the back, we want to have the same thing. There you go. Perfect. That's exactly what you're after, guys. It's not so difficult, is it? Okay, next thing we're going to do. We're going to grab our block of quartz here. And coming out from each one of the four blocks of iron, this plus shape that we have in the center of our ferris wheel, we want to, let's say, take this bottom block of iron. We want to do an outward bottom diagonal with the block of quartz, and we want to go down from said quartz by six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that, right? What we then want to do is we want to do the same thing coming out of this left block of iron, and it'll look like this. It'll be, we want to do like an outward left diagonal, and that's one block, and then we want to go left by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like this, so now we have a bottom row, we have a left row. The right row is the same thing as an outward right diagonal, and then we want to go right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then coming out the top here, we want again same sort of thing. It's like one upward and outward diagonally, and then six on top. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what we have now kind of looks like a windmill, I suppose, doesn't it? It's kind of like a, a weird windmill shape. That's what we're after, though. Okay. Once you've done that on the front, we want to do the same thing on the back. This ferris, ferris wheel is very, very symmetrical, so on the back it's the same thing. I'm not going to count this out anymore, because all we have to do now is we just have to copy from the front onto the back. It's so easy, guys. I'm sure that you'll have no problem doing this whatsoever. So that is just about every single one of the four rows complete. They want to look like that, as you can see. Wonderful. Next thing we're going to do, and this is going to kind of show you where we're going to be placing the carriages on the ferris wheel. You know how you have your two pairs of quartz blocks? Well, you want to do an iron block diagonally in between the two rows. So like at the top here, coming inwards diagonally, we want to have block of iron with a block in between. We want the same thing on the right-hand side, or is, the, is this the left-hand side? I'm kind of confused. This is the left-hand side. We want the same thing on the right-hand side here. Actually got this one right this time. And we want the same thing coming down from the bottom. And the, these blocks of iron are going to let you know exactly where each one of the carriages are going to go. Because what we're going to do now is we'll place the carriages, and then we'll do the actual circle of the ferris wheel. Okay. So, for the carriages, we need whatever colour you want to make the carriages, basically. So, if you want an orange carriage, grab orange. If you want cyan, grab cyan. But you will need some sort of fence. I'm actually changing my mind, and I'm going to grab some oak wood fence. I'm also going to grab sea lanterns, because we don't have them, and I remember we need them. I'm also going to grab some iron bars, and there's not much more you need for a carriage, to be honest. So, I'm also going to have a magenta carriage. I'm also going to have a lime carriage. And that's it for my carriages. You can have them any colour you want. Okay, let's begin with the bottom carriage because I think it's the easiest. This bottom carriage for me is going to be orange wool. The carriage begins in between the two blocks of iron. I'm placing the orange there. I'm extending that orange right and left by one. Like that, yeah? What I then want to do is I want to place three sea lanterns underneath that. I want to place sea lanterns underneath that. I then want to go all the way around those sea lanterns with my orange wool, or magenta wool, or whatever wool. Like that, right? I then want to do a row of iron bars coming underneath the left-hand side of the carriage and underneath the right-hand side of the carriage, the two rows of threes. I then want to do a row of orange wool underneath each one of those iron bars like this. And what I then want to do is I actually need another material. I actually need some uh, some quartz stairs. I want to extend each one of those center orange wall blocks towards the center, each by one, with the quartz stairs. I want to place an oak fence either side of those stairs. And then I want to place orange wall underneath what I've just placed. This is a little bit tricky, but like this. And I also want it to connect together in the center. What I also want is I want to place iron bars on top of each one of those fences. Now, that might seem difficult, it might seem like a lot of instructions, but that's it. That's the carriage. As easy as that, guys. As easy as that, that's it. Now, once you've done one carriage, all of the other carriages become easy. Because, for instance, this left carriage, I'm going to make green, starts the exact same way. We place a lime wall right here in between the two blocks of iron. 
We extend the green left and right by one. We place a row of sea lanterns underneath and we place a row of lime wool going around those lanterns, like this. We're then going to do iron bars underneath each end of the carriage with a row of green underneath those iron bars, if I can ever place it because iron bars are so tricky. We then want to place a stair coming out from each one of these center lime green blocks with a fence either side of those blocks. We then want to place rows of lime wool underneath what we've just made there, underneath the fence and underneath these stairs. We want to connect them together in the center and we want to place iron bars on top of each one of those oak wood fences. So I'm just going to place that. This is also a little bit tricky. I'm noticing a very, very simple trend with me and these iron bars. They don't want to go. But that is the end result, guys. That is exactly what you want. Easy as anything. Now, of course, once you've done two, the third one becomes even easier. And my third one is going to be cyan wool all the way up at the top here. We place it in the center. Extend it out either side. We place sea lanterns underneath. We place cyan wool around those sea lanterns. We place iron bars underneath each end of the carriage with a row of same wool, my case cyan, underneath those bars, if, <laughs> if we can ever do it. it. It's actually easier to place it once and then just extend from that block. Maybe it's not because I, I, I just messed up there. There we go. We then want to take those center blocks and we want to extend them towards us by one of the stairs and place an oak fence either side of those stairs. We're then going to place cyan wool underneath the fence and the stairs and all of that other fun stuff. And <laughs> I just messed up. And um, then we just want to connect it together. I'm just going to rectify what I just broke there. Plus, I'm going to add the iron bars <laughs> on top of those fence. I'm so bad at this. It's unbelievable. You wouldn't think I'd be this bad. And once we have that done, that is the third carriage. But it's by no means the final carriage because the final carriage is on the right hand side and it's made of magenta. Now, the magenta. We're just going to start the same way. We have the row of three. We're going to place the sea lanterns underneath. We're going to place the magenta wall going all the way around those lanterns. And now we're going to place some iron bars underneath. And by the way, um, for the colors of these carriages, just in case you're interested, I think clay carriages would look kind of cool. Um, the only thing is, I originally made this Ferris wheel, like the legs of the Ferris wheel and the center of the Ferris wheel. I made it out of wool, so I didn't want wool carriages and I didn't want to have like a wool ferris wheel at the same time, but ever since I changed the actual ferris wheel structure to clay, I wanted to inverse that, so I actually liked clay carriages, it's just I didn't want to mix them, but that's something that you might want to try, you might want to try, because they're easy to change once the main structure of the carriage is done, it's easy to simply change the colour to any that you might like. Oh, and by the way, if you want to add a nice little touch to these carriages, it's just something you can do. You don't have to do this at all, of course. Of course you don't. If you want to add like a fence gate in between these carriages, then I guess that's a little bit more realistic. I personally don't like it, but that's something that you may want to add. But there you go. Now we have each one of the four carriages which we can go around our Ferris wheel with. Now, I'm gonna get rid of everything I have here. And I'm going to grab what we need next. So, we're now going to make the circular part of the ferris wheel. We're going to grab red hardened clay, quartz slab, quartz stairs, block of quartz. And I don't think we need much else. Although later we will need some spruce wood, um, some spruce wood fence, and we'll need some stone slabs. And we'll need a little bit of glass. And we also need most things, actually. We need, like, wooden trap door. And we need, like, uh, we need, like, a block of iron. So, grab all of those things. Okay, so in regards to making the big circle that we have, let's start down at the bottom of the ferris wheel, where we have this row of seven block of quartz. Begin with this sixth block in the row of seven block of quartz, so it's the one from the end. From this block, we want to go left by two of the red hardened clay. We then want to do an up left diagonal. We then want to go left by one. We then want to do two up left diagonals. One, two, up by one. Up left diagonal, up by one. You should find that you connect to the opposite part 
of the ferris wheel like evenly like this in a circular shape move through that block of quartz and go up by two of the red do an upright diagonal go up by one do two upright diagonals that's one and two go right by one do an upright diagonal right by one move through the block of quartz go right by two do a bottom right diagonal right by one two bottom right diagonals down by one bottom right diagonal down by one move through the block of quartz go down by two bottom left diagonal down by one two bottom left diagonals left one bottom left diagonal left one so what we want to have should look exactly like this this is the circular shape that you like however once you've done that on the front what have you got to do yeah you guys know what you have to do once you've done it on the front you have to do it on the back and this is something to point out as well if you don't like the red stained clay you can change it you don't have to stick with the red stained clay theme by the way guys the easiest way to do this is to copy what you have on the front like don't take my instructions for it once you've managed to do it once it's really easy to do it again like what you've just done on the front copy directly onto the back just look there and apply it here it's as easy as that you're just matching blocks i'm sure that you'll have no problem doing this whatsoever but if you don't like your red hardened clay any other color would work including white including wood wood <laughs> wood would look good i think wood would look quite nice so what we want to have is the same row of red on the front and the back so once you've got that taken care of we're now going to make this look a little bit nicer because it looks a bit nicer with some quartz block accents so here's an example I'm going to add some quartz stairs on the bottom left hand section of the ferris wheel. I'm going to add upside down quartz stairs wherever I think it's appropriate. So here on the left on the bottom left hand side I've added upside down quartz stairs wherever I think it will look good. Also on the top left hand corner I'm now adding proper facing quartz stairs basically into the corners wherever I think it will look good. I'm also doing it on the upper right hand side now and I'm also doing it of course on the bottom right hand side too and I'm just adding it wherever I think it might look good I'm not sure if it'll look good on the very ends but I actually really like that it makes it look a little bit circular I think that that's a good thing also if you like you might want to add some quartz slabs at the very bottom and the top just to kind of complete a more circular illusion this does mean that it is not the same as it is on the left and right hand side, but I like the look of it. Once you've got that taken care of on the front, however, it's time to move over to the back. So, moving round to the back now, we're now going to do the exact same thing. So, we're now just going to add all of the stairs, wherever we feel as though that we'd like them. These aren't even necessary. If you don't want to add these, you don't have to. And that kind of goes for any stage of this Ferris wheel. If you don't feel like you want to add it, don't add it. If you feel as though something looks better with or without something, add it for yourself, make yourself happy. You don't have to build it in the exact same way, and as a matter of fact, some of the best looking creations that you guys make by me are when you throw your own little personal touches on things. So, that is the actual wheel of the Ferris wheel. We can now actually call it this. This is a Ferris wheel rather than like a Ferris rotor blade or, or something crazy like that. That doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Well, once you've got that taken care of, what we're now going to do is we are just going to add a very, very, very small change, I think, to the Ferris wheel. As a matter of fact, you know what? You know what? We're not even going to bother adding it because it uh, it won't make things look any better so that ladies and gentlemen is your ferris wheel pretty much complete but what isn't complete is the surroundings around the wheel so i'm going to get rid of all of this block of quartz and i'm going to grab some oh good blanks and some red hardened clay i'm going to grab a button and maybe even some block of redstone because what we're now going to do is we are going to build the little control station for the wheel because somebody has to start it and stop it going so i'm going to come to the very bottom front right hand corner leg of the wheel and going right of this block of quartz that we have underneath the leg i want to do a row of three oak wood blanks going right that's one two three 
I'm then going to place a hard, red hardened clay on top of that third block. I'm going to go right of this by three, one, two, three. I'm then going to extend this towards me by three, one, two, three. I'm then going to go left by three, one, two, three. I'm then going to place a row of white stained glass on top of what I've just made. I'm then going to add an additional layer of red hardened clay. I'm going to fill the top of it in. And I'm also going to limit how much you can actually access this. So I'm going to add just an additional block of red stained clay and a block of glass coming across the front here just to limit the amount of space that you have in here. That is the little control station. Inside the control station, you can basically put in here what you like. You might want to put like two block of iron, something like that. And you might want to grab like a lever and throw one of these on top. So like almost as if you can actually control the place, um, you might want to do that. And maybe just decorate the inside a little bit, maybe with like a, a wooden trap door and maybe even like a wooden pressure plate just to make it look a little bit more exciting. And that's just the little control station that I had in mind. Um, what I'm now going to do is underneath the bottom right hand corner of this control station, I'm going to place an oak wood plank. Then I'm going to go right of that plank by one in the ground. I'm then going to place a red horn and clay. I'm going to extend this clay towards me. I'm going to extend it towards me by three. That's one, two, three. And then I'm going to do this. So now that we have that, I'm going to extend this very first red hardened clay backwards. And I'm going to extend it backwards until this red hardened clay has a gap of two between the last clay and the ferris wheel. So this would be a gap of two in the ground, right? That is the distance between the ferris wheel and where I want this and I'm going to do a row of red stained clay coming across the back of the wheel Because I'm now figuring out the perimeter that I want between this and the ferris wheel itself And on the left hand side of the wheel I want to leave a gap of three to be able to walk around the wheel So I want to in the ground leave a gap of three and then I want to have the red stained clay move around this if that makes sense does that make any sense to you guys so we want to have a shape which should look like this it's kind of like a big giant upside down u shape or kind of like a staple i think i've actually um i think i'm actually one block ahead on the right in regards to the left i don't know but we want to have something which should look like that we can then connect those end red stained clay blocks together and the whole point of this is just for us to be able to walk around this space oh i was right the first time so we want to have just a little area so we can walk around the space later on i'll fill this in with um oakwood planks what i'm now going to do is starting from the front left hand corner we basically just want an area that we can walk around up into the ferris wheel area with so i'm going to extend this front left hand corner forwards by two one two i'm then going to take that second block and i'm going to extend it to the right and i'm going to extend it to the right until it is one two blocks away from the edge i'm then going to extend this front right hand corner forwards by two and this will give us enough space for a walkway to be able to walk up and onto the platform uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab uh, I'm going to grab Oakwood stairs. I'm going to place this here because this Ferris wheel is of course one block off the ground. I want some stairs coming up. I'm also going to figure out where I want to have a couple of lights around the wheel. So let's say that I want to start off by having a light here on the right hand side. I'm going to dig into the ground and I'm going to place a block of redstone. And then I'm going to have a light every other block coming towards the back. And I want the same thing coming up the left strip. So on this left strip I want to have this here, miss a block, um, so on and so forth coming all the way down this left hand side. Just so that the place is lit up nicely during the night. There we go, that's even on both sides now. Um, what I also have to do, and this is going to be this is going to be something that I do off recording. I need to go all the way around on top of the red stained clay, and I need to add some spruce fence. I also want to add, you know, kind of like kind of like a height restrictive thing. I kind of want to add a a little white banner here like near the entrance like are you tall enough to ride the ferris wheel well that's what i want to have there i'm also going to add uh oakwood planks everywhere so you know what easiest thing to do i'm gonna go all the way around add the spruce wood fence on top of the red stained clay i'm gonna fill it in with oakwood planks i'm gonna add my lamps above 
the red stain clay, and I'll be back once I've done that, because it's really easier to show you than talk about it. Back in a moment, my apologies. There we go, it's a lot easier to see what I'm talking about now that I actually have it on the screen in front of me. So, what I've done here is I have added fence on top of all of the red stain clay, except for the little control hut, of course. I've filled in the area with oak wood planks, plus I've also added lights where lights needed to be added. Plus, by the way, just a little thing, um, I also filled in the inside the little control hut with stone um, instead of oak. Small change, I likes it. So, also, you might want to bridge the gap between, like, there was a red stained clay here, you might want to make that oak wood plank. Okay, so that's what you want to do. I realized that that might take a second or two to do. Pause this video if necessary. Once you've got that taken care of, however, you can move on to this very, very small and final part of the video. Because what we're now going to do is, right here, where you would access the ferris wheel area, we're going to destroy this fence. We're going to grab a block of iron. We're going to throw a block of iron there. We're going to grab a wooden trap door. We're going to throw a wooden trap door so that it is kind of like in the way of being able to get up onto the on top of the platform. We're going to throw something like, we'll throw like a wooden pressure plate on top here. And we'll add some buttons onto the side. Or maybe just one side, this side here. So now you can control whether or not people can get on your ferris wheel. Maybe you even want to use something a little bit more nasty. Maybe maybe you really want to stop people going on it and you want to have something like an iron trap door here. And maybe that's something you that you want to be able to control from the inside because of course the wooden trap door, people can just use it anyway. But there you go guys. That is your ferris wheel pretty much complete. I don't think that there's anything that we've missed. I think that that pretty much covers it all. Hopefully, you like this build. I hope you do, because this is the start of my theme park. I would like to expand this theme park long into the horizon. I would like to build loads and loads of stuff, and I would love to share that with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. I'd really, really appreciate it. I honestly would. Do let me know down there in the comments. What would you add to this big empty area that is going to be my theme park? What would you guys put here? What do you want to see? I would absolutely love to know whether that's rides or whether those are whether it's just stuff that you think could look good here, like donut stands and toilets. You know, just normal things that you think would make a good addition to the park. I'd love to hear what you guys would uh, would like to see. Check out the cards and the description below. That is where you're going to find a lot of the builds that are related to this park. Eventually, I'll have an awesome theme park build tutorial playlist. That is where you will find everything. I'm sure that I can start it now and throw a couple of things that are both applicable that I've made in the past to the theme park and other builds as well. Follow me on Twitter at TSMC360. If you make this or any variation of this, or if you just have loads of stuff that you want to show me, show me that on Twitter at TSMC360. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really, really appreciate it. Come around, see what I've been building recently. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.